Hey everybody, we're here today with Rachel Briggs of USA Mortgage. She is our Pay It Forward home loan representative um, if you are part of the Pay It Forward program. And she's gonna talk to us a little bit about um, lending and interest rates and things like that. So, hey, Rachel. Hi, nice to meet you all. Um, I know some of you I may have talked to already and some I have not met yet. Um, so I look forward to it and I love Pay It Forward. It's such a great program and I'm so blessed to be a part of it. Absolutely, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Um, all right, so our first question, what is expected to happen to interest rates in 2021? Well, we're not fortune tellers, but right now the experts are predicting that rates will remain low throughout 2021. Right now, the housing market is thriving. That combined with the low rates are really keeping the economy going afloat how it is. Um, we're predicting that it's gonna remain that way throughout the rest of the year. Awesome, fantastic. So hopefully 2021 will remain a great time for buyers to buy a house or refinance and get a fantastic interest rate. Yep, and we do watch it every day. You know, we have to, all the experts and your loan officer and myself, um, essentially we watch the markets change every day. We would let you know um, what to expect once we've got the ball rolling and we're in the shopping process and under contract. But, but yeah, so far 2021 is looking excellent. Awesome, glad to hear that. All right, how does my interest rate impact my monthly payments? It is going to affect the monthly payment quite significantly. Um, so for instance, let's say you were buying a $200,000 home and your interest rate was 2.5%, that would put your monthly principal and interest payments at $790. If your rate was 3.5%, that would put your monthly principal and interest at $898. So that's $108 a month difference just for the interest rate alone. In a one point difference. Yep, just for the one point. Now, if it were to jump up to four and a half percent, that would put the monthly payment at 1,031 just for principal and interest, which is $115 a month more. So it gradually, the higher the rate gets, the higher that gap is gonna be and the difference will be sure. on the monthly payment. All right, good to know. So we want those low interest rates that are predicted to remain with us for a little while. Okay, next question. Should I buy down my interest rates with my mortgage lender? Can you explain what that means and then yes. what the benefit is? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what buying the rate down means. Um, so we will have an interest rate and right now they're great. Rates we haven't had a whole lot of people buying them down right now because rates are so low. So it used to be a little bit more common. So when rates were higher, there was more um, advantage to buying the rate down on the monthly payment savings versus what we see now. Mostly the only time that I see that now is if people are really trying to hit a monthly payment target um, and they're more concerned about short-term savings goals versus long-term. But essentially what you wanna look at when you consider if you buy down your rate is what it's gonna to cost to break even with the amount of money it costs to buy down the rate and the monthly savings that you get. Most people with the rates being this low and knowing that they're gonna move in the next five to seven years don't see much of a benefit to pay a larger portion up front to get the rate lower. Excellent, and can you explain a little bit about what buying down looks like? How much is it per point that to, and how does it affect your interest rates? Exactly, yeah, absolutely. So if they're called discount points and each discount point is gonna be 1% of the loan amount. So it varies and fluctuates from person to person and loan to loan um, by situation, but essentially um, that's how it works. And it's kind of on a sliding scale. And so I would like, you know, you, for one discount point, your rate could be this with this monthly payment and then et cetera, and keep it going. Okay, so those exact amounts will vary by- Exactly. Amount. Okay, great, thank you. Yep. Okay, how does my credit score impact my mortgage interest rates? It's going to affect it greatly. So the difference between, and I, I don't have any stats on this right now, but I can get some, the difference between a 650 and a 750 score is gonna be huge savings monthly and throughout the life of the loan. The biggest thing to know is if you know you're gonna be buying in the near future to reach out to me and take a look at the credit, we could go over it. 
we could see where that would put your rate and that would still give us time. We have experts that do this all day. We have a credit expert. Mm -hmm. um, so the sooner that we know, the sooner that we can help and prepare, be proactive to get the credit score higher, to get the rate down. So to get the best rate possible, yes. And exactly. As you mentioned, we have a credit expert and that is within the Pay It Forward family. We actually have yes. a Pay It Forward credit repair we call it credit repair. I like to say credit improvement because your credit may be fine, but getting it better will help your interest rate. So uh, exactly. And we have, and I, go ahead. I was going to say our pay it for uh, repair guy, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, if you, if you'd like to, I can, I've got that right here. Well, it's Mike Thomas. Oh, Mike Thomas. Thank you. Yeah, Mike I Thomas couldn't off the top of my head. Here. Yeah. And so if you are watching this in the Savvy group, then um, we have actually a series with Mike um, about improving your credit that you can go back and look at. Um, you can join the Pay It Forward Credit Repair group, and that is free mm -hmm. to join. It has lots and lots of free tips and information, and Mike will even touch base and see if there's anything, anything simple you can do to get that up. Um, if you do need more help, he also offers packages and services in that realm. If you are not watching this on the Savvy Group, Savvy Homebuyers Group, then join that group, and then you'll have access to all of those resources as well. So, yeah, absolutely. And you want to get those interest rates down, um, so or those that credit score up, so those interest rates can come down to get your payment down, like Rachel talked about in yeah. our second question. <laughs> all right, that is all I have today. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. Anytime. I'm happy to answer questions for anybody whenever I can help. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.